Lloyd Dobson here coming to you from Southwest Florida. If you're looking at the screen, it says learn how to get your art sold online secrets revealed. The business of selling art online has become very competitive. Over the last few years, literally hundreds of websites have been developed as paid or free online art galleries. Like any business, it does not matter what it is, online or brick and mortar, you need only two things and two things only, traffic and conversions, period. Many people now want some affordable art for their homes, so the accessibility of art has become evident through online art galleries. So as an artist, how are you going to get any visibility amongst the turbulent situation of art available? It is an ever-increasing challenge to get your art to appear in front of a user. Next are some tips that I'm going to share with you to help you with getting your art sold. Step number one, you want to choose an art gallery that ranks in Google for your type of art. So, for example, if you sell seascapes, uh, it would be seascape oil paintings. Do a search in Google for both seascape oil paintings and also seascape oil paintings galleries. You then really only want to focus your effort on possible money if their sites appear in the first 10 organic results. It is worth also looking at the paid listings, although these sites will almost certainly charge a fee. But being positioned on page number one of Google is critical. Not very many people will venture on to page two, three, four, and so on. But getting ranked on Google page number one takes a lot of effort and good content on their part. So you want a gallery that's on Google page number one. It is certainly not necessary to pay a fee. There should be at least one free gallery on page one in Google that will provide you with decent sales rates completely free. In fact, here's an example of a screenshot I did. I Googled and there are several on Google page number one. Step number two, once you've decided on which online galleries to appear in, make sure that you write a title for each piece of work that will get found. You can find out more by going to www.lloyddobsonartist.com and I have some articles in reference to this. Now for instance, if you've done a piece on a rough sea, think about what a potential buyer will search for. The likelihood is their search term will include the style of art that they want. For example, sea scenes, uh, you're going to want art keywords, but they will probably be specific and search for oil paintings, rough sea scenes. Uh, so make this your title. Do not be tempted to use a name that bears no meaning to the art at all. The third step is to make the description work. It has to be keyword rich about the work. Write about the medium, the paint base, the painting itself, the colors used, and the framing or lack of it. All of this will mean your description is keyword rich and will get more chance to be found and ultimately people will buy. Also add in some notes about shipping and how you prefer to ship and take payment. The simpler you make it for someone to buy, the better. Offer no obstacles. PayPal is an easy way to take payment. I've used PayPal for years. Step number four, make the price reasonable. See what other works are going for that feature on the same terms as your work and aim to be in the middle somewhere. Now you can go to www.lloyddobsonartist.com and look at the article, How to Price Your Original Artworks. Step number five, ensure that you tag the work. If the site allows tags, related search terms, obviously. So apply the same logic as with the title. Step number six, provide an easy way to communicate with a buyer. Art uh, 
like art easy way to communicate and then have a link and all your information going to it. Well guys and gals that's it. These tips will help you sell more art. I wish you the best of luck. Now here's a list of websites to promote your artwork on. The first one is an excellent one. Uh, I'm not going to read all of them. You can read and jot down. Just pause the video and jot down. I've got a total of, I think, 12. Uh, so I'll include some more on the next slide here. Also, set up a uh, payment option like uh, utilizing PayPal, which is excellent to offer your works of art from your website or blog or the uh, gallery online gallery that you uh, go to. Now most of the websites are free for any artist to promote most types of artwork be it a painting or sculpture. Again for some additional information on marketing your artwork and if you want to sell you've got to know how to market go to www.lloyddobsonartist.com and I have several articles in there to help you. Well, I thank you guys and gals again. I'll catch you out on the web or at the beach, but I'm going to leave you with this one thought. Remember, it is not what you know, but what you do with what you know.